Hey folks, Ms. Gosling here. In this video, you will learn to differentiate between primary and secondary cells. By the end of this video, you will be able to categorize different cells as either primary or secondary and explain why they should be categorized that way. A primary cell is defined as any cell that cannot be recharged. A secondary cell, on the other hand, can be recharged. This is really the only fundamental difference between these two kinds of cells. So, if you're trying to decide whether a cell is primary or secondary, think, can I recharge it and reuse it, or will it be no longer useful once I have used it to run a circuit? Now, it's important to note that this is not the only way to differentiate between different voltage sources. However, in many situations, it is a useful differentiation. After all, it's nice to know whether a voltage source can be reused or not. So on that note, let's talk about some good examples of primary and secondary cells or again, cells that cannot be reused versus cells that can. So one common example of a primary cell is a standard battery. So a standard battery, like the kind you might use to run a flashlight, is not something that can easily be reused. Other examples of primary cells are watch batteries, and the classic lemon battery. For those of you that don't know, when I say a lemon battery, I mean those batteries that a lot of kids will make for a science fair project, where zinc and copper rods are used as anodes and cathodes, and the lemon is used to run a circuit of some kind. So now let's talk about secondary cells. So one really common example of a secondary cell is your computer battery. Now, a portable computer like your laptop would really not be very useful if you couldn't recharge its battery. You'd be constantly having to charge your battery. Think about how often your computer dies and imagine having to buy a brand new battery every single time that happened. So you can see here, a secondary cell is really useful for products that you want to last a long time and that use a lot of power. So really, any portable electronics will have a secondary cell for their battery. Another really good example of a secondary cell is your car battery. So for those of you that don't know, your car battery is used to start your car and it runs certain parts of the car. However, it is also constantly being recharged by your car's engine in order to ensure that it will continue to be able to restart your car. This is why when your car battery dies, the easiest way to fix it is to give it a jump by having a friend of yours or a family member connect it to their car's engine and then use their car's engine to recharge your battery. So to summarize, a primary cell is any battery that cannot be charged, and some common examples of primary cells are your standard batteries, the batteries you use in your watch, and any kind of fruit battery that you might make for a science project. Secondary cells, on the other hand, can be recharged, and some common examples of secondary cells are computer batteries, the batteries in any portable electronic device you might have, and your car battery. So, there you have it guys, you have now been introduced to the differences between primary cells and secondary cells. The next step is to learn a little bit more about the mechanics of how recharging secondary cells works. However, that's a topic for another video. Have a great day.